Okay, so for half planes, so what is half plane? Half plane is so like sketch linear inequalities represent on the Cartesian plane. So there are some shading areas to deal with linear inequalities. For example, y greater than x or y greater than 2x plus 1. So it's a it linear, but it's linear inequality. Okay, so for remember if we draw the number line, we have x greater than 1. So how we sketch that? We have 0 here, 1 here, and we represent this line as over set values. So that's my I only have one variable, which is x. So x greater something, I can show that on one dimension, which is the um, number line. But now I have y greater than x plus 1. y greater than x plus 1, which have two dimensions. OK, which I have two dimensions. So x and y. So I need to have Cartesian plane to represent that. And on the left hand side, the x greater than 1 represents a line, which is one dimension. But on the second one, y greater than x plus 1, it, it represents an area. Okay, it's two dimensions, actually represent an area. So if we have this one, okay, we have x and we have y. So what we will have, we have y greater than x plus 1. Let's think about y greater than x plus 1. Let's sketch y equals to x plus 1 first. So where's y equals to x plus 1? I'll have negative 1 and I'll have 1. And that's why it's my dash line because I don't know what's the greater represent. So I just want to see this linear. There must be some connections with this linear. So I sketch this linear out. Okay. okay, there are some values. You know that on this linear, on this linear, all the y values is exactly equivalent to x plus 1, correct? All the values on this line will be y equals to x plus 1. But now what you need, you need y greater than x plus 1. So what means by greater than? Take an example. When x equals to 1. So y will equals to 1 plus 1, which y equals to 2. So when x equals to 1, your y needs to be 2. So 1, 2 is the coordinates on this linear. But for this equation, what you need? You need one x equals to 1, y greater than 2. Okay, x equals to 1, 1 greater than 2. So what point will be possible? 1, 3 will be possible, right? x equals to 1, but y is greater than 2. That's possible. x equals to 1, y equals to 3.5. That is also possible. So x equals to 1, y equals to 100. That is also possible. Uh, sorry, three. I mean three. Then we don't have this one. Okay. So, three and three. Three point five, a hundred, uh, four, uh, three point one even. So any number greater than one will be possible for this solution of the set. So think about where are those points. So when x equals to one. Y equals to 2. Okay, that's 2. That's 1. But all the points above this will be possible, right? Can you see this blue line I draw? Let's use another color. Let's use the green one. Okay, all the green color I draw here will be possible to be the solution for this inequality, right? When x equals to y, y got a greater value. Okay, same happened when x equals to 2. When x equals to 2. So 2 plus 1 is, uh, wait, uh, x equals.
that should be like this one two okay so one x equals to two everything should be greater than two greater than three so i want y value greater than three when x is two all the y value needs to be greater than three so this part will be all right okay all this green part will be all right okay so generally think about this no matter what x value you equals you have on this red line is exactly equivalent to okay on this red line is exactly equivalent to but if you go beyond this red line that will be greater right if you not reach this red line that will be smaller correct like if i draw vertical lines if i from a point go to reach the line that will be y equals to y plus y but if you go beyond than this go up keep going up that will be y greater than x plus y but if you haven't reached this point that will be y smaller than x plus y so when you have any value below the line that will be smaller when you have any value greater than this line that will be y greater than that value so that line is actually separate your plane into half okay you cut the cartesian plane into half so below that will be y smaller above that will be y greater so you use a linear to cut your cartesian plane into half so that's why we call that half plane so all the value y value greater than x plus y should be the solution if you can shade that if you can shade that so that will be all the values here okay that will be all the values here can you see all the screen value all the value here will be the solution but the linear needs to be a dashed line okay the linear needs to be dashed line why that needs to be dashed line because i have y greater than x plus one i cannot equivalent to x plus one that means it must be dashed line i'm not really taking those values if i have y greater or equals to x plus one then that line will become solid lines okay a straight solid lines not dashed lines means i can take those values after you sketch this after you sketch this what you need to do is you write a box here and shade this box say region required okay you say region required because that's my answer you shade some part and you make some part empty but like who knows which one means the answer okay you need to tell people okay this shading area is the region i want to have okay is required by this inequality and also it's the same because you sketch a straight line you need to label some points for example you need to label zero one here and negative one zero here okay zero one here and negative one zero there okay let's do another example let's do another example let's do example one let's do example one okay so y is smaller or equals to 1.5 x smaller than 3 um let's say we want to sketch number one we want to sketch y equals to 1.5 x minus 3 we want to sketch for that okay um we'll have when x equals to zero y will equals to negative three when y equals to zero x equals to uh should be two so zero equals to 1.5 x minus three three equals to 1.5 x x will equals to two so two zero will be the x intercept so let's sketch this x and y so when x equals to zero y equals to negative three okay it's three so we have zero three here 
when x equals to 2, y equals to 0. So I have the point 2, 0 here. And this should be a straight line, not dashed line. Okay, because y can be equals to. Y can be equals to that. Okay, y can equals to 1.5x minus 3. Okay, so it should be a solid line, not dashed line. Okay, a line like this. have a solid line here and now what I want I want y to be smaller than that okay if you want to test about which half is greater and which half is smaller what you need to do is choose a point okay choose a point on the right okay choose a point here okay choose a point here what I will have is if you go up okay this is not rich so all of this will be smaller when you touch that that is greater when you go beyond that will be higher so all the thing okay you go from this point you draw okay i'm not touching this line i'm not reaching this line yet so this thing will be smaller okay smaller okay this part i'm already beyond this line can you see if i draw this this line is already above the what the uh, linear so that is the greater region so the smaller region will be this half so there are all these smaller regions okay all of this will be the answer it's a little bit too ugly okay i don't i don't mind okay so that is the region required Okay, that is the region required. You just, the only thing you need to know is where is up, where is down, okay? It's really obvious. Above the line is up, greater. Below the line is smaller, okay? Okay, I'll do the last one with you here and I will give you rest of time to complete this page. So the, this one, we have y greater than that. So let's say we have y equals to 1 minus 7x. So 0, 1 must be the y-intercept. And when y equals to 0, 1 equals to 7x, x equals to 1 7 so 170 will be the y intercept. So let's do sketch here. is y here is one seven over zero and this is zero and one we have a really steep graph Okay, and you need greater because it, because you have greater equals to. That's why you need to have the solid line, not the dashed line. <coughs> and the next thing you need to think about is where is above. So I will choose a point here. I will choose a point at zero, and I will go up. Okay, I reach a point. So this all this green line I have drawn here that should be the smaller region. 
Okay, that should be the smaller region. Because I start from zero and I go up, I have just reached the line. So that region needs to be the smaller part. Okay, you're all going up, you're going up. So that is the smaller region. So I don't want the smaller region, I want the greater region. So greater will be everything here. That's the greater region. Okay. How to test it? You just start from general, uh, any point. You go up, can see, do you touch the line? Okay, if you touch the line, all the things you have drawn so far will be smaller because you have just touched this line. <coughs> and this part is the region required. I need the greater part. Okay, I need the greater part. is finish page 16 okay finish page 16 have four question here